what I'm going to go over now is just a little bit here on some target solutions here of how we're going to help some of those communities. So in the part when Bernie showed all the communities, and the communities are around that if I'm a developer I, or a person that just comes up for the first time with DEIP and goes into the cloud, goes into the server-based software, and establishes a community, says, hey, I'm going to be a community. It could be all about I, I want to do it for just code, just development of code, or I want to take it to a full solution all the way up to the marketplace. We have specialized in some areas here where we're, we're going to have additional value with it and start out with some more populated pieces of communities that are public for everybody to use. And we've used it based on what we have today that we can offer right now. So I'm just going to show you some of those industries here from the oil and gas solutions here. We have lots of different ready-made solutions for all these different types of applications. Or we have bookshelves with code and pieces in there for an oil and gas solution from well to tank. And we can come in and help with that solution directly. And that type of piece will be available also up in these communities. So again, today, we can offer expertise like oil and gas, and mission critical. You saw in the video there that we have, we back up the servers, have the backup power uh, for the uh, eBay, okay? We are monitoring that backup power there for all that with our mission critical with our quad redundancy system. That is for controllers. So monitoring everything that's going around so that nothing, nothing ever goes down. So they can always tell when there's some type of fire with the system there. So again, part of what we offer, what we have expertise in today, that we're, we will, again, put in those communities, part of the pieces going forward here, but offer it today. Expertise. Steam cycle power, same thing. So from the turbine controls, so from uh, the compressor controls, all these different things. We have algorithms, bookshelves, all around it. So, and what's kind of cool about this, one little thing that Bernie didn't mention this morning, I don't think is that all that software that you just saw and all that capability to get to it, all the, the things going up on the web, it's free. So one little point to think about. This is not about buying RS Logic 5000 or Machine Edition with thing and loading it on with a, a license for all that. You'll be able to get up and go to the cloud and get this for free. It's going to be an open community piece that you can go up and target your applications and deal all that. It's not a download, it's a getting to the web. It's not going to sign up and license for this piece. It's all about, it's an open software system. So again, and we will put up some of these pieces, like we don't, we have water experts, G Water, I know G Water, some of the people are in here. So from that piece, again, using working with them. We did a presentation at G Water, yesterday just going over with the, about the, um, the total environment and how they could set up a community for their, their customers. All of that again about what we have in solutions around machine control here, again with the, the safety pieces, with the motion pieces, around, again, solutions that we can offer today that we have capabilities, expertise in, yeah, even within our services, and I'll talk a little about services as I go through the modernization, but the idea that, hey, it's all available knowledge, it'll all be, you can get it today, it goes forward into our new paradigm with the, the cloud-based services as we go forward. A little bit on modernization, okay? On the modernization strategy here, this is really quite simple of what we have available, so for you to use and this is modernization from the point of you're upgrading a system that you bought from us, or you're upgrading a system that's a competitive system. Because modernization scales from, I bought Rockwell years ago, right? PLC5, PLC2. I, I have G, uh, Genius from uh, us. So I have Series 1, Series 5, Series 6s. So the 9070 and part of it there that we've recently so, um, matured and discontinued pieces of it. It's the idea that all those systems out there, so we can take and modernize. And we can do it, like I said, from, 
from a controller that we sold you or a controller that somebody else, a vendor sold. And how we do that? Well, we understand the benefits of the modernization. That's what Bernie talked about earlier this morning. We understand how it affects the system, how what it means, and we also understand the part about, hey, you cannot take your system down. You can't take it you know, completely down a lot of times. You have to do maybe parts and pieces of it, or you have a fixed time on it. So I visited a mining company the other day, and they were going to, they were looking at the system and saying, hey, I've got this great big line that has nine controllers, a thousand IO, and I want to replace that whole thing, and I want it to replace the wiring and all that, and I want to do it in 24 hours. We said, wow, that's pretty large <laughs> to complete all that. But hey, we worked with them on the system here, and I'll show you how we go through it about what they want to do. Go to another company. Went to another metals company there, and they're going, I want to do it piecemeal along the way. But they want to get to the new industry because they, they need that new technology to be more competitive. So we know how to do this with the modernization from replace it all to do it piecemeal, whatever you need to get to stay competitive. Part of that is around the four-part system, okay? From what we can do to a, a, a looking at it and assessing what you've got, out, laying out the solution and figuring out how you want to implement the solution together here and then the life cycle of the whole of the whole line of what's what's the system what's your vulnerability going forward so the first part laying out the assessment we can come in and give you a full assessment okay we have tools that come in and come take a look at exactly your line and say hey this is what you have here this is the exposure piece of it Here's the parts that are going, that you have that are current. Here's the older technology, how you're going to handle it, what we can do with it. We can give you a full assessment of what's the risk on your floor and what it's going to take to move it around. Then we can analyze those life cycle needs and say, hey, how do we handle it? How do we suggested action? Once we've assessed, here's the suggested action around it. Here's what you can do based on your system here. Here's what change going to be. If you have a bunch of, let's say, we've had some people looking at 9030s that say, hey, um, I've got a bunch of 9030 technology. I'd really like to get some, some of this PAC technology piece of it here. The 9030 is not, Series 9030 is not something that's going away, but we have a way to say, hey, okay, we can take a look at that you know, and move it forward. But like I said, if you have a 9070 with some of the IO, it's actually been discontinued. We can say, hey, here's this one here is you can work on with fares, but we can analyze and say, hey, how do we move you? Whether it's replacing the I.O. with different I.O. and providing that technique of uh, moving it between it and saving the wires, or it's just putting a total new, new system. Here is the part where we put the solution in. We can actually give you the total solution. We can tell you here's the exact thing you need to do. We can give you the evaluation. We can analyze how you should do it. We can propose the total solution, the best one that we think. So from the point of view, like I said, you can make your choice of how you want to solve it from all the different I.O., but we can also give you a proposal that says this is what we think is the best way to do it. And we can give you, again, the whole documents, everything of how we would move your system. And then we can solve it, the actual implementation, three different ways. We can deliver the solution. We have services, so we can help deliver the solution. We can partner with the integrator that's serving us. So for people that are in here with the integrators, we, we don't mind. Hey, we, we want to be flexible along this. If you have a favorite system integrator, work with them to implement what you need to modernize. And then the other part is that we'll just sell the content. We'll give you all the other stuff up front that says, here's the analysis, here's what you've got, here's what's the risk, here's the proposed solution by the bill of material. So again, do it your way in how you modernize. And then like I said, if you do choose to use us for our services, we have full services with expert staff. Now, our, most of our expert staff is in the areas here that we just talked about of, hey, in, in these industries or in just modernization of just moving your equipment around. But it's the, all the idea that we can quote you a complete service offering. So again, we have the capability to be flexible. We have all the total solutions, some of the best solutions in migrating along the way. And we have the, the complete 
service offering here to take it from assessment all the way to putting it in. So that's just a little bit on our services. Now, the next thing that I'm going to do is go over to modernization of HMI SCADA. We're going to have Jean-Luc come up. 